Did you know you could use a Milwaukee battery on a DeWalt tool? Are these multi-platform battery adapters a bad idea? Would using them damage your battery or tool? I've never seen the smoke get let out of this tool. Or has that message about them being harmful been put out there so these companies can keep you isolated from exploring other tool brands? Frankly, I always thought it was a bad idea myself. But this time, I decided to go against my better judgment and test these out for the very cool gang on my own tools. And we're gonna see exactly what happens. Batteries for power tools are expensive. The cost can sometimes outweigh the value of the tool itself. We talk about tool deals on this channel and we usually say to get a free tool, buy the batteries first. The problem is, which one do you pick? You might have invested into all Milwaukee already, but see, DeWalt made a tool, Big Red did it, and you wanna try it out. What can you do? For those of you wondering, a multi-platform battery adapter is a relatively inexpensive adapter that allows the use of rechargeable lithium ion batteries from almost any power tool company with power tools from an alternate brand of tools to work interchangeably. For instance, you can use this Milwaukee battery with this DeWalt tool. This unlocks you from having to pick the one size battery platform and allows you to use the best tools from any power tool brand. Now, sure, they look like an inexpensive way to power multiple brands of tools without having to invest in the expensive batteries you could actually get the best tools from each manufacturer without having the stress about choosing an actual battery platform. It sounds like a real money saver, but just because you can doesn't necessarily mean you should. As you can see here, we have three of the most common brands in the industry. We have Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Makita. We have adapters for all three of them. We're going to put these to the test first by getting our benchmarks. We timed how long each impact driver took to drive a six inch Spax fastener using a standard five amp hour battery pack. We averaged it all out. But before we get into the numbers, let's go outside for a minute. Jimmy. Hey. I want you to take these on site with you today. These are adapters to use DeWalt batteries with Milwaukee tools and Milwaukee tools with DeWalt batteries. Okay. I want to know what you think of them, let the guys use them. Here's the important part. Because there's only two tabs here, mm -hmm. it's only going to transmit the voltage to the tool. Usually there would be comms connections in here, like the technology built into the tools or the batteries would be able to communicate this way the batteries aren't over discharged, the tools aren't overpowered, sure. none of that's gonna happen. Okay. So okay. if you're giving it to the guys who use on their tools, be mindful to tell them that we don't want them destroying their tools or over voltaging or over wattaging the tools and having to pay for replacement. We're just getting power, no smart technology. Right, we wanna know what they think. Yeah, well, give me a shot. See you in a little bit. Yeah, we'll see it. When we ran our benchmark test, we used batteries like these. These XC 5.0s and XR 5.0s and these 18 volt Makita packs, these five amp hour packs, they're comprised of what's called an 18650 cylindrical lithium ion cell. Each cell is made up of layers of materials. There's a positive layer, a separator, and a negative layer. Not that long ago, these battery packs got a boost. They moved up to what was called a 21700 cylindrical cell. The problem with both of those cells is that they have a very narrow pathway for power. Just recently, there's been a huge uplift in battery technology. A pouch cell flattens these layers so more cells can fit inside the same space. What makes these pouch lithium packs so unique is that there is no real standard for them. They can be made into almost any flat pouch style shape. What's found in these packs here and these packs here, it's called the 21700 tabless cell. A tabless cell looks like a cylindrical cell, but instead of all the layers meeting at the regular old battery terminal, the ends of each layer act as a terminal. It has brought down the amount of heat that these packs have to endure during the discharge and charging cycles, 
which make them much more efficient and effective over time. So that's how the batteries work. It's not rocket appliances. From our benchmark testing, the average time to drive a six inch Spax fastener was 5.66 seconds. Now, we expected the tools would perform the best with their matching batteries, but we got some interesting results. The wall was 20% faster than any other tool and battery combination we tested, even faster than the Milwaukee. No big differences between mixing platforms. However, using the Makita Impact with a Milwaukee XC 5.0 amp hour battery was two times slower than our average. Remember when I showed Jimmy the terminals? Not all batteries work on all tools, and the test showed that. The DeWalt power stack only works with DeWalt tools. Initially, when we were trying to figure out which batteries we we're gonna use for testing, of course, we were gonna go with power stack because it is pouch lithium. It is some of the newest technology. We wanted to get it into the mix. Here's the thing. With this adapter and the power stack battery, it times out. It's not seeing any resistance through the, I guess, through the gear train. Let's see if it will work though. Now you might think that's because these batteries are just so much more powerful. But I'll assume it's because they have safety measures built in. However, the Forge battery paired with the Makita Impact not only worked, but it worked faster than even the Makita on its own platform. That all comes down to the battery technology inside, which can make a big difference in driving these. Now, normally a 10 inch lag bolt isn't something you drive with an impact driver. You'd use something like an impact wrench. That's a subject for another video, but we're here to get results for you. Battery technology in the past few years has given us the ability, if you need to, just get the job done somehow. Unfortunately, if you've got a Makita impact, that 10 inch bolt isn't going anywhere. But from a walking to wall, there are big differences. Milwaukee paired with a forged eight amp hour battery, drove the 10 inch lag in an impressive 21 seconds. Using the DeWalt eight amp hour power pack battery, the Milwaukee Impact still got the job done, but a little slower. We even got a little smoke show since these adapters bypass the safety checks. There's a chance of burning out your tool or battery. I've never seen the smoke get let out of this tool. I mean, we're, we're seeing some, wow, 122 back by the, by the motor. I, I, don't, I don't know that operating this tool with its red lithium technology and then the red link plus intelligence would allow this tool to operate at that temperature and smoke and potentially damage the tool. What's interesting from our testing was the Milwaukee Impact with the DeWalt battery was faster than the DeWalt Impact paired with the same battery. I don't wanna destroy the tool. Even more interesting was the DeWalt 5 amp hour power stack battery, which has pouched lithium cells, was 30% faster than using the DeWalt 8 amp hour power pack with tabless cells. When you're concerned about stuff, you put stuff in Google nowadays, for instance, you have a little tab which aggregates, it's AI, aggregates a bunch of answers from around the internet. 
Here's something important to keep in mind. A lot of these FAQs are actually from the manufacturers and sellers of these adapters. So any answers that you're getting from the internet, you should probably take with a grain of salt. We asked the question, do these adapters damage your tools or batteries? Short answer, no. If there are safety sensors built into the tools and batteries. Next question was, will I still get all the bells and whistles my tool has? They said something like, Bluetooth tracking won't work, you might not get all of your features and functions, but that doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the power to power the tool. Next question was, are they safe for professional use. For some reason, their answer says they use quality materials, quality plastics. They're perfect for a job site. Next question I think everyone will have is, is there any performance loss? They just claimed no. Now, the big last question, does using one of these adapters void a warranty. They warn about using third-party accessories, but mention the tools being unmodified, so it shouldn't void a warranty. It seems like they're skirting the actual question. So what we did was we reached out to Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Makita to get their official statements on using these adapters, and here's what they had to say. Milwaukee said, battery adapters can cause unintended and potentially dangerous consequences, including overheating and even fires. Because battery adapters do not contain the proper electronics, their use allows a user to bypass the manufacturer's battery management system, which can create a potentially dangerous situation because the battery, charger, and tools of different manufacturers do not communicate with each other. Given these risks, we recommend users only use the batteries outlined in Power Tool Manufacturer's Operator's Manual with their Power Tool. Makita got back to us as well. I'll refer you to this piece published by the Power Tool Institute. The lengthy piece goes into depth on the subject and Makita stands behind it. As for DeWalt, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of upset. Not really, they never got back to us. But we have word from Milwaukee and Makita and they're pretty much at the forefront of battery technology in this industry. So I would assume that whatever they're saying, the Walt would stand behind. But whatever you do, do not try charging your batteries with these adapters in place. What that means, long story short, is if you have a Makita battery, use a Makita charger. If you have a, a Milwaukee battery, use a Milwaukee charger. With knowing all this, what did the pros out on the job site say after trying these? It's nice to have the versatility. I'm not saying that it's a necessity, but it's nice to have that versatility while we're on site and see if it works. So far, so good. I think it's a great idea because there's times where we're out on the job sites and the Milwaukee batteries may be dead. And, and some of the other guys like DeWalt, like Jimmy's a big DeWalt man. So if he had DeWalt batteries and we had an extender to interchange the batteries, that would be a great idea. Instead of having to worry about whose platforms on what, we'll be able to slide them in and get right back to work. Well, there you have it. Real world use and real results. Are these something you might want? What kind of situation would you need one for? We want to know. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope to see you all on the next one.